right, Nick, let's talk about the Miami Dolphins. They've gone through a uh, plethora of quarterbacks lately, uh, but have ended up, surprisingly, I believe Teddy Bridgewater had the opportunity to play, but they decided to go with the young, well, I wouldn't say young, but he's a rookie, Skylar Thompson, uh, quarterback from Kansas State University, going to get the start today while Tua is still coming back from that, uh, I guess, concussion, traumatic brain injury. Uh, there seem to be a lot of things mixed into that injury. Is is pretty severe, or at least it seems so on the field. Uh, but he's still coming back. He's practicing, looks fine. But let's talk about Skylar Thompson. This is a guy that uh, looks very interesting, and that's what the story is going to be about today. But before we get into that, Dolphins fans, we want to know. There's obviously been so many great Dolphins throughout history, but we want to hear about the non-Dolphins players that are your favorite player. Who is your favorite player? that wasn't on the Dolphins, let us know in the comments below. But Nick, uh, let's talk about Skylar Thompson. Yeah, so, you know, you and I did a lot of Miami Dolphins stories and stuff during training camp at the preseason, and we just got so much feedback from Dolphins fans about Thompson, about how they love this guy, and they're really excited to see what he could do. Well, guess what, Dolphins fans? You're going to see what he can do because he's going to start uh, against the Minnesota Vikings this weekend. This is according to Chris Perkins over at the South Florida Sun Sentinel. Uh, quoting, uh, reading from the article here, quoting him, the decision is in, and it says the Dolphins believe quarterback Skylar Thompson, a rookie seventh round pick with one game of NFL experience last week against the Jets, gives him a better chance to win Sunday against Minnesota than veteran quarterback Teddy Bridgewater, who has eight years of experience. Uh, Perkins went on to say many people thought the Dolphins had one of the NFL's best backup quarterback situations with Bridgewater as the number two guy. Uh, he was a 2015 Pro Bowler with seven and seven and started for Denver last year, and he was a team captain for Carolina in 2020. However, the Dolphins say Thompson, who was playing quarterback for Kansas State in the Big 12 at this time last season, is the better option. Uh, later on in the article, here's, I think, the real thing I want to mention here, is uh, players are actually trying to downplay the news of Thompson winning the starting job. So this is according to veteran linebacker Jerome Baker. Uh, quote, I wouldn't say it's surprising. Ever since Skyler came in, I always thought he had some talent. Um, so uh, you had Mike McDaniel come out and says uh, said the same thing, basically saying uh, – what gives me confidence, this is in starting Thompson, is that I wouldn't do it if I didn't think the team would agree in terms of their confidence for him. All right, my so this is absolutely crazy. I don't think we've ever seen a rookie seventh round draft pick kind of get the starting job, potentially win it. Obviously, Bridgewater's coming off a concussion himself. There's some question marks whether he would clear protocol and all that. But it seems the Dolphins aren't even risking that. They're going full speed ahead with the rookie seventh rounder. I've never seen a seventh round pick get so much positive support from the coaching staff and the team, not just in preseason. We see that happen sometimes, but in the regular season at this point for a really good football team. What are your thoughts on Thompson and just everything right now with this quarterback situation with Miami? Yeah, Nick, clearly late round quarterback gets the start due to injury, immediately pops into your head. Next, Tom Brady. So, you know, could be possible. But I want to dive into a couple things here, Nick, because Skylar Thompson isn't really your typical rookie quarterback. Uh, he didn't, you know, he's not a young guy. He's not a young buck. He's 25 years old, and with age comes experience. And I think that's important at the quarterback situation. And I just want to throw some stats at you really fast on, on age. Uh, Thompson is three years older than star safety Javon Holland. He's two years older than young upcoming wide receiver Jalen Waddell. He's a year older than current uh, starting quarterback Tua Tonga-Valoa. And he's uh, the same age as Connor Williams, the man snapping him the ball, who's in his fifth NFL season. So this rookie and a fifth-year uh, O-lineman are the same age. So... Thompson definitely, he's got some age on him. He's got some experience on him. And over at Kansas State, uh, he was able to play for quite some time. And doing so, he got some accolades as well. And I'm going to go through those really fast. Uh, he has the all-time record for best passer rating, throwing over 2,000 yards. Uh, he's the second most career passing touchdowns and yards in school history. Uh, second most total offensive yards for a quarterback in school history. And, you know, he finished his career at Kansas State with 7,134 yards on 552 passes, which is a nice 63% complicit rating, 44 touchdowns, eight interceptions. So needless to say, he has a lot of experience at the quarterback position uh, at the college level. And maybe this is going to let him come in and fill in a little bit more nicely. And you think of a guy like Kenny Pickett, who played for a while um, at Pitt, and he got his first start last week, first full start, 
And he kind of came in and did a pretty admirable job. There's nothing saying that Thompson won't do the same, don't you think? Well, you got to remember, being quarterback in the NFL, like you and I talk about all the time, is a lot like being, you know, a, a, an executive or CEO of a big company, or, or obviously people make the military comparisons, like being a battlefield general. You need a grown up in that position, and obviously Thompson, having a lot of college experience and frankly more life experience, he's 25, makes him better suited for that kind of role at this point compared to some other, basically every all other every other seventh round rookie draft pick, excuse me. But again, you go back to his performance, right? It's not just his age and his collegiate performance, his performance in the preseason as the Miami Dolphin is what really jumps out at me here. So he actually led all quarterbacks, not rookie quarterbacks, all quarterbacks and pass rating in the preseason was 138.5. That's scary high, by the way. That's that's ridiculous. The all-time record for a regular season is like 120. I think it was Rodgers a number of years ago. So obviously having a 138 is ridiculous. And in fact, Pro Football Talk actually reported that uh, Mike McDaniel and the Dolphins were scared to put him on waivers or potentially put him on the practice squad because if the moment they did, they were fearful every other team would potentially go after him. They really wanted to keep him on the roster because they recognized his talent. So there's definitely something here with Thompson. And how about this for a little poetic justice, Mice? Obviously, the Dolphins historically, ever since Dan Marino had left, have been looking for their guy. So Dan Marino's last year was 1999. The next year, the Patriots got Tom Brady, the year 2000. Now we're going forward now to this year. You know, Tom Brady has left. Obviously, he's in he's in the NFC. How about this being the year potentially 22, 23 years later, they finally get their guy in uh, in Skylar Thompson potentially. I mean, I know I know two is still around. I'm not banging on two is still up, uh, uh, yet. But how about this for a little poetic justice? If they're all this waiting and all the draft picks and all the veterans they brought in, if they get their guy a seventh round draft pick out of Kansas State, especially after Brady, who dominated that division, was obviously a sixth round draft pick himself. I think there'd be a lot of poetic justice there. But but no matter what, I'm excited to see what Thompson does this weekend against a, a pretty tough but beatable Minnesota Vikings team.